out of nowhere, bro, I got this call, bro, from Sha Money, bro, through CeeLo. CeeLo had called me and was like, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? Sha Money just called and asked about some record you was playing. And I was like, the record I was playing on the bus, he was like, yeah, bro, 50 wants to buy that record and put it on his album. I never in my life sold a record in my life. I didn't even know what the fuck to charge him, you know what I'm saying, or ask for in regards to that. But at that time, I was like, hell yeah, bro, they can, let's do it, or whatever, whatnot. So CeeLo kind of played manager in a sense of setting that record up with them. And that record ended up being Bloodhound on 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying. And that was a record that I already had. That was my record. 50 just basically kept my verse, one of my verses on that song and added two of his verses to it. And that's what you hear today, uh, as far as the Bloodhound record go. And um, from there, that's when uh, 50 discovered that I had no situation as far as contractually obligations to UTP and uh, he made an offer in, in regards to giving me a, a deal with G-Unit. And um, I, I didn't have a manager or none of that. Shout out to Ron Bird, which was Juvenile's manager at the time. I had a great and still do have a great relationship with, with him. Definitely good dude. One of the most realest dudes that I've met. You know, uh, I had to turn to him like, yo, man, I got this situation with G-Unit where they they saying, bring me over there. And it was beyond exciting for me because Sha Money's like, yo, M loves the record. M's mixing the record. And I'm like, M? You talking about M and M? He's like, yeah, bro. Like, M is mixing the record. If you look, M mm. mixed Bloodhound. And I'm like, what? This is one of my lightest records. I, I did this record in 10, 15 minutes. I couldn't believe that they were so off into that record like that. Uh, but... Hey, man, that record changed my life. And uh, 50 gave me that opportunity to become a part of G-Unit based off of that one record. And didn't know basically my life or who I am, how I came up and how I'm rocking. I think he got to learn as I became a part of G-Unit that he's dealing with a real one just as himself at the time, which made it better. 